Two bacon bib commissioners want to reduce the punishment for those caught with smaller amounts of marijuana. Right now in our poll, we're wondering if you think decriminalizing weed's a good idea. You can vote on our app or online at 13WMAZ.com slash vote. Al Tillman and Virgil Walken say county laws for those found holding less than an ounce of the drug are overly harsh. Chelsea Bynford joins us live from outside the Macon Bibb Government Center to explain what they're proposing. Yeah, Frank and Lori, the contents of this sandwich bag is about equivalent to what an ounce of marijuana would look like. Now, right now, if you are caught with marijuana, you could face up to a year in jail and a $1,000 fine. But two Macon Bib commissioners are looking to change that. Here's why. Marijuana makes you a little giggly. A natural drug grown from the ground that garners a lot of mixed opinion. It doesn't hurt other people. It's a good idea to help kick kids off drugs, stop people smoking drugs. Legal in over half the country, so I don't get why it would be illegal in the other half of the country. Medical marijuana, or using cannabis oil prescribed by a doctor, is now legal in Georgia, but recreational use can still land you behind bars and cost you a pretty penny. In Macon Bibb, two commissioners are trying to change that. We're not saying that we're legalizing marijuana in, in Macon Bibb County. We're saying that we're downgrading the penalties that are associated with it. Virgil Watkins is one of the commissioners sponsoring an ordinance to amend the county charter, decriminalizing marijuana in small doses. It would be handled more like a, um, a speeding ticket. Watkins says if you're caught with less than an ounce, an officer would write you a ticket. No arrests, no jail time, and a maximum fine of $75. That's long overdue. Watkins says since consolidation, 145 people have gone to jail for marijuana possession alone, totaling 360 days in custody. According to Watkins, it costs $55 a day to house an inmate, meaning it's cost the county just shy of $20,000 to prosecute minor marijuana crimes in the last five years. Which is staff and manpower that's not on the street dealing with the, you know, the shooting, the violence, and the burglary. If less people got arrested for weed, there would be more space in jail for people who have done more serious crimes. While people around town had mixed opinions on the idea, those who spoke to me on camera were all in favor of lesser punishment. I think we could even do better as far as our marijuana laws. And by the way, this bag is just filled with grass and leaves, but the commissioners are scheduled to talk about this proposal tomorrow in committee. Reporting live in Macon, Chelsea Byam for 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Chelsea. If the Public Safety Committee supports the proposed ordinance tomorrow, it would still need approval from the full commission.